about the capacitance? Capacity or capacitance? Right. Capacity of the tank. Capacity of the vessel. We can define in day to day life. What is the capacity of an electrical conductor? Now, I will explain this capacity in an analogy. Now, let us consider a conductor. This is called a conductor. This is the conductor. Right? Now, let us consider there is a con container. This is the container. Container. Right. Conductor stores the charge. Conductor stores the charge. Now, container stores, container stores, container stores, that is, there is a liquid. As the conductor stores the charge, similarly, a container stores the liquid. Now, there is a charge on the conductor. Now, there is a liquid inside the container. Now, for whenever the liquid is in a container, there is a volume of the liquid. Corresponding to the volume of the liquid, there is a liquid level. Liquid level. In a simple logic, right? As the volume of the liquid is less, liquid level is less. As the volume of the liquid is more, liquid level is also more. Now, the volume of the liquid, volume of the liquid is directly proportional to liquid level. Therefore, there is a more volume of the liquid, there is a more liquid level. Higher is the liquid level. If there is a less volume of the liquid, the liquid level is also less. Now, in this case, I will compare this situation into the conductor. Now, as, as the container stores the liquid, similarly, conductor stores the charge. Now, on the conductor, there may be a little amount of the charge, there may be right more amount of the charge. The physical status of the charge can be explained through the potential. That potential is represented by V. Now, this potential, this potential is similar to the liquid level, right? Liquid level is more, volume of the liquid is more. Liquid level is less, volume of the liquid is less. More potential, more amount of the charge. Less potential, less amount of the charge. Therefore, similar to this one, now a charge on the conductor as directly proportional to potential on the conductor. Right? The more potential, more amount of the charge. The less potential, the less amount of the charge. The more liquid level, more volume of the liquid. Less liquid level, that is low volume of the liquid. Therefore, the charge on the conductor is directly proportional to the potential. More charge is given to the conductor, then the conductor is at the higher potential. Less amount of the charge is given to the conductor, then the potential is also said to be less. Therefore, here Q is directly proportional to V. That means, 
the magnitude of the charge in a conductor is directly proportional to its potential therefore now that is q is equals to some constant v now here in this case where c is the proportionality constant is the proportionality constant c is the proportionality constant now this proportionality constant is called what to say capacity this proportionality constant is called capacity now therefore c is equals to what to say q by v c is equals to q by v now how can you define capacity right how can you define the capacity it is the ratio between charge and the conductor to its potential is called capacity now what is the unit of capacity right what is the unit of capacity unit what is the unit of capacity now c is equals to q by v now that equals to q is nothing but coulomb v is nothing but potential the potential is represented by volt now that equals to q is the coulomb v is the potential that is called volt therefore coulomb per volt now this coulomb per volt is considered as a farad that farad is represented by f now here in this case c is equals to q by v the unit of capacity is equals to farad now capacity i may define the capacity in two ways now in the first case the ratio between charge to the potential is called capacity or otherwise if right v is equals to 1 v is equals to 1 c is equals to what to say q by 1 right c is equals to what to say q from this definition the amount of charge required for a conductor to raise the potential by unity is called capacity of a conductor now i want to increase the potential by unity i want to increase the potential by unity then you want to supply the charge the amount of charge required for a conductor to raise the potential by unity is called capacity therefore for the capacity there are two definitions the ratio between the charge and the conductor to its potential is called capacity or otherwise the amount of charge required for a conductor to raise the potential by unity is called capacity now what is the unit of capacity now already we know that c is equals to q by v charge coulomb potential volt that is coulomb per volt coulomb per volt is the unit of capacity therefore now that coulomb per volt is known as what to say farad generally farad is the bigger unit as the farad is in the bigger unit then the multiples of farad we can take therefore one that is micro farad is equals to 10 to the power of minus 6 farad 1 nano farad is equals to 10 to the power of minus 9 farad 1 pico farad is equals to 10 to the power of minus 12 farad now therefore this is the capacity